Tonight, hundreds of non-emergency calls are taking resources away from people in true emergencies. Yeah, and all new at 6, ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck shows you the growing problem in the Bay Area and how one city plans to unclog the 911 phone lines. Tanya Cotton squeezes her daughter close, remembering the moment she almost lost her. 911. On the phone with a 911 operator, she tried to stay calm as her daughter struggled to breathe. You're just sitting there, and it, it could be just two minutes in there, you know, but it feels like hours. Luckily, emergency crews arrived quickly, saving her daughter's life. They probably were there within, you know, four minutes, three minutes, but it did feel like an eternity. <laughs> But the emergency teams we rely on are too often tied up with non-essential calls. Hundreds of times a year, Largo firefighters dash out to the Pinellas County Jail and Safe Harbor, a jail diversion program. And just last year, the top 15 911 abusers in Largo I'm going to tell you exactly what to do next, okay? Dialed those three digits more than 700 times. Of course they're going to call 911, right? They don't know who else to call. Largo has a plan to partner full-time mental health advocates with police officers. Responding to calls together, they hope to tackle 911 abuse and connect people with mental health resources. Knocking on the door, introducing ourselves has, has helped dramatically. Cotton hopes it will mean one less worry the next time she frantically dials 911. You want them there as soon as they can get there. In Largo, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.